So after a long time, Oxygen OS is finally here for the Redmi Note 8 users. It's been a long time when we last installed Oxygen OS kind of thing in Redmi Note 8 and also a lot of users right now were looking for Oxygen OS based custom room for the Redmi Note 8 users and after a lot, lot uh, after a long time basically, we finally have the version. It's not based on Android 12 by the way, it's based on Android 11. OnePlus 9 Pro 5G is what your device name right now which you can change of course based on Android 11 as you just mentioned. So yes, don't expect Android 12 kind of things, but Android 11 things are not so bad. I think so you can use this thing. I'm going to share with you some stuff like which other things working here, which other things included and a lot more things. So stay tuned. I recommend you to stay here for a while. I will tell you some things about this one. So that might be very helpful for you. The calling, etc. Camera, a lot more things. So stay tuned and make sure to like this video and also share this with your friends and everyone else, whichever you want to. And we have the quick settings panel first of all which includes a screen recorder and which is working perfectly fine i'm talking about some things there which is working fine or which is not and i'll tell you which are the bugs i faced so far if i talk about the screen recording i didn't got any lags while using screen recording so this is a plus point about this one no issues here at all and you can use this thing on advice to disable this you simply need to click this option and it will be disabled from here now if you move on to some other things we also it also includes a oneplus zen mode which is actually absolutely quite powerful a lot of users use these things on their devices and that's included as expectedly if you want to use this thing you can it's available as a quick setting style on your device you can use it if i tried if i, I tried some things related to calling etc one thing was quite weird when you install this room for the first time and try to open the phone app it will ask you to set that app as your default app it looks like they've installed manually this app it's not by default i'm not sure the why and also one thing let me show you once more that if you have if you're able to see you have the recording option available but unfortunately it's not working it's not working for me i'm not sure the why but it's just maybe in my case i had enabled that option previously too but it was not working i don't know why but yes if you want to give it a try you can you can see this is how it is looking like it's not recording of course it's not a major bug but yes i thought i shall share with you so this is what we have if you move on to the gaming options the game space as if you are watching me from a long time i don't play games i'm not interested in any kind of gamings but yes you have this is kind of the gaming space which you have if you are a gamer and looking for these things graphics optimization we also includes the pro gaming mode in this one and that looks quite good advanced dnd and things which you get here are absolutely good if i check out the gaming mode if you move on here as you can see pro gaming mode where you can block all the notifications and calls and etc etc simply got it and this is how it is looking like let me know in the comment box which gaming mode you like the most there might be some differences or changes in gaming mode also so let's just take a look at some other things also which are included in this build called this oneplus 9 pro 5g port if i'm not wrong if you move on to the advanced settings we have the screen calib calibration settings in display and it also includes the ambient display and this is not actually buggy but this is not actually working yes it's working partially previous that time it was working perfectly fine and after that it was not working and now as you can see it's not working so it's kind of really weird sometimes it works sometimes it does not but yes if even if it works i will not recommend you to use this because this is redmi note 8 and this is actually not a oled or amoled display so i'll not recommend you to use that including that if you move on to some other things you just saw scenes and etc and if you move on to the customization section you have the wallpaper related things and icon bag let me show you one more thing you have the pac-man and you have the cyberpunk two kind of icon packs which you get by default available in my case i sometimes use pac-man i sometimes use cyberpunk let me know in the comment box whichever you like the most and you can use these icon packs in other custom rooms also i'll try to get these icon packs for you in other custom rooms i'm not sure though when but i'll try my best here we have the one plus wallpapers unfortunately there are no much wallpapers available these are only this is kind of short on one plus but other than else the default wallpapers are not included that's also kind of weird but yes if you move on to the battery stats as expectedly approximately 11 to 12 percent of active drainage per hour which i get which i got here after installing this thing which was kind of expected because in oxygen os and after a long time as oxygen os uh, takes some time to settle down especially in some other devices 
cases if you port it or etc so yes this might be the reason but this is what we have if i move on to the buttons and gestures options and navigation bar and gestures you can hide the bottom bar if you want to and even after hiding the bottom bar if i check out the space below the keyboard is still there and this is kind of um, not a good thing in oxygen OS. you can hide that thing very easily by the way by using a magisk module as a lot of magic modules are already available if you want to give them try you can three finger screenshot as expected is also there but if you check out the double tap to wake it's not working so if you're a user who always use double tap to wake on the devices unfortunately it will not work for you so keep this thing in your mind while using this one of course that this is also not a major bug so yes uh, there you can install this thing if you want to i also tried using the face unlock etc and it was also not working so yes it was expected either it's not working fingerprint face unlock fingerprint and the pattern etc is working perfectly fine face unlock is not working so yes as this is also not a major bug as i just mentioned at the starting of the video this room is good enough it has bugs but it does not give you any kind of major bugs like the camera not working or the calling has any kind of issues those are called major bugs floating window is also not working yes i am sharing with you all those bugs here floating window is also not working and yes this is also not a major bug the floating window is there i thought that maybe uh, because i'm using the full screen gestures that's why it was not working but then i tried using uh, this kind of option let me show you by moving into the buttons and gestures option i tried using the navigation bar like fixed navigation bar and then i tried using that floating windows option unfortunately at that time it was not working at all so yes floating window is there which is not working there this might be advice specific thing but I say this is not working as what I'm expecting here after checking out all these minor bugs which we got so far in this one i still found this room a good choice for you i think so you need to install this thing if you're looking for something different as it does not include any kind of major bug as just i saw oneplus launcher as expectedly is there i tried using some other things here some apps etc working perfectly fine checked out the gcam also gcam was working perfectly fine you don't have any kind of camera pre-installed which is still a good choice if you have any kind of buggy cameras like oneplus no issues you can use a camera other than else open camera which was working perfectly fine room is pre-rooted this room is actually pre-rooted so keep this in your mind so that if it is pre-rooted you need to move on to the magic hide option enable that install safe fix if you want to and safe data shall pass for you as it is passing in my case i'll be able to use banking apps on my device other than else things are basically same these were things i just want to let you know as i just mentioned link is already in the description for this one install this room and format data you're good to go no major installation things or steps to do this was all thanks for watching i will see you in the next video until then goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through